Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to use the standard shader. Why the standard shader? Because in VR chat, there's a lot of worlds with different lighting conditions. Standard shader works well in most of them. And on top of that, if someone is using safe mode, it will default to this shader. And it's just better looking in my opinion. So, a lot of people think that they can't use the standard shader because let's say for example they only have the diffuse texture and if you use the diffuse texture it looks just kind of plain and sh ugly so to get the standard shader to work correctly you need a couple different things you need a albedo map with the smoothness map in the alpha channel you need a um, metalness map sometimes if your model has nothing metallic on it you don't need this you need a normal map, which can be hard to find, but you can make it using a program that I will show you. So, let's get started. Alright, to start off, all you are going to need is GIMP, or GNU Image Manipulation Program, version 2.8, and the GIMP Normal Map plugin, which I will have a link in the description for both of those. So. What you're going to do, first of all, is um, get your textures out. For this tutorial, I will start with just a diffuse texture because most of the time when you find a model, that's all you're going to have. Delete those just to get them out of the way. I am The first thing I like to do is make the normal map. So to do that, you're going to desaturate this and you're going to go to levels and you're going to move this all the way to where those black things start move this all the way to where the black things start hit OK then you're going to go to filters map normal map set this to pre-wit pre -wit, however that's pronounced 3x3 three three. hit OK and what you'll notice is it's created this depth kind of effect here but you might notice it doesn't look quite right. These eye sockets are protruding rather than receding and the same with the rivets on these shoulder pads. So to fix that, you need to go into here, select only the green channel, go to color, invert, and then that fixes it. And you can do this with any normal map. Sometimes when you find the real normal map for a model, it'll be like that. You have to fix it in this manner. If you have the real normal map for the model, it's preferred this isn't quite as high quality. So we're just going to export that as tmp3 normal.jpg. And we're going to egg back out and undo everything we just did. The next thing you'll probably want to do is make the metallic map. And to do that, you are going to want to start selecting all of the metal bits usually metal comes in three colors gray yellow or orange because those are really the only kind of colors metal can be you can lasso tool to select everything or you can use color select sometimes color select selects more than you actually wanted so you might have to just lasso tool everything we are going to just do that now and i will skip ahead when i am done all right now that i've got all the metal bits selected it's time to explain what a metallic map is so a metallic map is a texture where everything made of metal is white and everything that isn't made of metal is black and that will um basically tell the shader to make those parts reflective and have like the color tinted reflections and crap that metal does. So to do that, we're going to make a new layer and have that set to layer fill type white. We are going to select invert. We're going to take our bucket tool and we're going to fill that in. That's unusual. Oh, 
that's right, I still have green channel selected. Ignore that. Now that that is done, you're going to go to select all, and this is the important part if you're doing this for VR chat models. So in VR chat, some people upload worlds that don't have skyboxes or reflection probes, and if your material is 100% metallic, it just turns pitch black. So to avoid that kind of situation, we're going to go to color, brightness, contrast, and we're going to reduce the brightness of this image by 10. Then we're just going to export that metal.jpg. And we're going to undo everything we just did and get back to our diffuse texture. And we're going to select all. Now, this is where I'm going to explain the difference between a diffuse texture and an albedo texture. For the standard shader, you want albedo which is only color information. In a diffuse texture, they also have shadows and highlights painted into the texture, and we don't want that. But we can get rid of most of that. We're going to copy this first of all, select all control C to copy this image, and we're gonna use that for later. So for now, we're going to duplicate it. We're gonna to go to colors, desaturate, hit okay. Then we're going to invert this layer and we're going to set mode from normal to soft light and if you notice here what that did was it got rid of some of the um, the shading and highlights as you can see right here in particular off on off on we're going to merge that down and now we have our albedo map now all we need is the smoothness map which just tells you how smooth or rough a surface is smoother surfaces have brighter specular highlights and they're more reflective rougher surfaces have more spread out specular highlights and less reflections. So we're going to add layer mask. This is going to let us edit the alpha channel. We're going to do show layer mask. You can see what we're doing. And we're going to hit control V and paste the selection we copied earlier. And most smoothness maps are in fact just grayscales of the diffuse texture. So we want to make this as bright as possible because we can turn it down in Unity later. So to do that we're going to open up our levels under color. So we're just going to slide this all the way to that black part right there. And hit OK. And then to put that in the alpha channel, you need to hit anchor layer right here. And this cannot be exported as a JPEG because you need to pres preserve the alpha channel. So this albedo.png because PNG has alpha. And after that, we can import this stuff into Unity with our model and I will show you how to set the shader up. Alright, so now I'm back in Unity and I have imported my model and my three textures that I'll be using for this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our material and this tint thing is by default set to gray. We don't want that because it makes our texture darker than it should be. We're going to put that all the way up to pure white. Then we're going to take our albedo put it in the albedo slot and as you can see it looks pretty flat so to fix that we're gonna take our normal map put it in the normal map slot and by default it doesn't recognize that it's a normal map you can fix that by just hitting the fix now button and now you can see we've got the uh, these bump details the little microsurface detail that uh, gives it that sense of realism now all we need to do is put our metallic map in this metallic slot, set the smoothness to use the smoothness map in our albedo alpha, and slide this down until we get, get it looking how we want it. It's good to have a light in your scene and a skybox so that you can um, test how your model looks under different lighting conditions. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And that is how you use the standard shader. I use the standard shader for all of my avatars, such as this one right here. You can get a little bit fancier with it. This guy, for example, has emission on his axe that makes it got these glowy runes on it. You can create micro detail using detail maps like I've got here 
you could just create an alpha channel mask to mask off the parts you want to have the detail in and the parts you don't want the detail in. It's a very versatile shader. It's very underrated, and I feel like more people should use it. So that's it.